Okay, welcome at Smart Break Space. We are honored to have your pres uh, presence. So many people came today. They came, of course, for Jacques Rancière. It's a big honor, Mr. Rancière, to have you here with us. I also want to thank all the people who made this program possible, especially the institutions, to, in order to not have an endless list of names. I'll just mention the institutions, and I'll start with the most important one, the Maison Descartes. They're also partly funding this program, and they made it possible that for Mr. Rancière to come to the Netherlands and be with us tonight. Then, of course, there is the University of Amsterdam. Um, tonight we have an introduction of Mouchette, as like Mouchette is being screened as an introduction to a program that consists of 11 films that are discussed in the book Film Fables by Mr. Rancière. This book has been uh, translated by Octavo Publishers. Octavo Publishers is another very important partner tonight. They um, um, did an amazing job uh, publishing two of his publications. One is launched tonight and this is uh, the fable from the cinema, or from the film, I hope I, I, I have the right Dutch title. And uh, Solange de Boer, the publisher, she, she was next to the Maison Descartes, the driving force of this evening. Other institutions that are involved are the University of Amsterdam. They uh, do the introductions to all the films. Um, they're introduced um, in the light of the interpretation of Jacques Rancière of the film in the book Film Fables. And then the I Film Institute, and um, last but not least, uh, the Studium Generale program of the Rietveld Academy. And um, uh, I don't want to say much more. I'm just going to say that for us, it was a very important um, um, start of our film and philosophy series program that we're very, happy to launch tonight with um, uh, the, the Cinema Tells Its Truth, like the program um, of Jacques Rancière, um, because he inspired us as an art institution to have a cinema. And um, for us it was interesting, like his concept of like the, the, the cinema as a medium between, uh, that, that takes part of the discourse in the arts on the one hand, and on the other hand, is also part of popular culture. So it's a medium that can bridge the discrepancy, the gap that exists between art on the one hand and society on the other. And in like Smart Project Space, we, we try and program our activities, our different platforms in such a way that also those platforms reinforce each other. So we also hope that our film program when it, it's programmed intelligently and in conjunction with the exhibition program also helps people to, to come to an understanding of the concept that is um, discussed or that is proposed in the, the exhibitions. Um, I want to keep it with this. I'm now going to introduce I Isabel Maillès, the director of the Maison Descartes. She will talk a little bit more about Ms. Rancière and about the book Film Fables. So first, as director of the Maison Descartes, I want to thank Jean Rancière because it's a great, great pleasure and great honor that you could uh, accept our invitation. And I want to thank also Thomas Poet because it's a, also a pleasure to have this evening here in Smart Project Space, this beautiful space, really. So you all know uh, Jacques Rancière, of course, he was former professor at the University of, pa of Paris. He has written about 20 uh, books and essays in a large variety of fields, such as politics, uh, an heritage of Marxism, aesthetics, literature, and uh, cinema. I just want to mention the importance of his works here in the Netherlands is really well known and I'm glad to see so many students here and really um, your work is um, well known in the university but also in aesthetics uh, fields. I, uh, the, main, the main reasons for his presence is the translation or into Dutch of two 
of these books, Le Destin des Images and La Fable Cinematographique by publisher Octavo. So the publisher is also present here. And uh, Jacques Rancière will tell us uh, some words before the film he chose for this evening and the discussion will be after the film. So I let you. So, Jacques <coughs> so first, I want to thank, <coughs> I, I, I want to thank, you know, Isabel Mal, Isabel Mal and the and the Maison Descartes, Thomas Poitz and Spart, <coughs> Project Space and Solange de Bourg and Octavo Publishers for this invitation, you know, for the translation and for this invitation. So, uh, so just a few words, you know. You, so you are going to see Mouchette, a film by Robert Bresson, released in uh, 1968. Well, I just uh, <coughs> I chose this film because it is the work of, of a filmmaker who embodies an idea of cinema as art, and as well known, uh, he even coined a word, a specific word, you know, to distinguish cinematography as art from cinema, you know, as mere entertainment. So, and, and he also wrote a book which, which was uh, very influential, not on cinematography. So my idea is let us see this film, this film which is supposed to embody an idea of pure cinematographic art, you know. So let, first let us look at it, you know, and after the screening for opening the discussion, I'll try to point out, you know, some issues, you know. I try to point out the basic presuppositions of the claim for cinematographic purity Second, the way, the way you know, those presuppositions are carried out in Mouchette, you know. And third, you know, the way in which the specificity of cinematography is actually constructed in the film and after, which we, we, can, have, of course, we can have, of course, a discussion. So, but, so uh, <coughs> at the moment, we, have, we, are just, you know, we are just going to see, to see the movie. You know. <laughs> 